for both of you, what did you guys see in the, in the second half that was the biggest difference offensively compared to the success that you were finding in the first half? I think we got a lot more stagnant. We weren't hitting or um, finding the things that we did in the first half, like the pocket pass in. They were collapsing a lot more. Um, we were taking hard shots, and yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, I mean, I think, like Fee said, we were stagnant, and then also um, our defense leads to our offense as well. So I think, you know, we let them kind of get rolling on offense, and then that makes our offense harder because then they're in a set defense. And you mentioned they, they found a role a little bit in that third quarter with Hillman in the post. Um, Looks like you guys were, were doubling pretty good in that first half and, and maybe got away from it in the second half. Was that a schematic change or just something that, that you guys didn't get to quite as much? Uh, I mean, I think across the board, our post defense has to be better than it was today. Um, no, like we were doing the same thing on defense uh, in the first and second half. It's supposed to be. Yeah. Uh, Nafisa, from game one to game two, I'm just curious, uh, your comfort level still kind of working your way back from last year, how it felt and how close you maybe feel to the 2020-2021 form that you were in? Um, I think with each game I feel a lot better. Just, like you said, kind of getting back into that uh, rhythm. The game is really fast and I haven't played in a long time. So with each game I feel like I'm getting more comfortable. I feel more comfortable than I did last game. That game I felt more comfortable than preseason. So, um, you know, hopefully – Next game, I'm better. We do, too. <laughs> um, Jess, I'll point this one to you, but I'd give you both credit. Parker is a big-bodied center for the other team and thought she had a good game, but she only had two rebounds. Jess, you had nine. You were top ten rebounding last year in the W. Walk me through as someone who is maybe a, let's call it a versatile center, how you rebound at such a high level versus bigger, maybe more dominant, physically imposing post players. Yeah, I mean, I think today uh, more of my focus was – making sure she didn't get the rebound. And our guards did a great job uh, in the first half of coming in and getting the ball away from them. But uh, for me, it's it's effort, and I know that's part of my job is to rebound the basketball. And so, um, you know, from a young age, I was told, you know, rebounding comes down to effort. So that's one of the stats that I'll always kind of judge my game on is rebounding. Um, and lastly, for both of you, you mentioned it, Fee, the – uh, the pocket passing was exceptional. When either both of you was in the high pick and roll, it seemed to work. Um, you guys dominated a lot of the postmen tonight. What has that process been like, finding chemistry with you guys, but then also the guards, just finding a, something that in tonight's game, whenever you went to it, felt like it was automatic? Um, for us, I feel like we've always had really good chemistry, like on the court, just even our rookie year, um, just finding each other and – I don't know, I feel like our post game or our pass game is always, I mean, her pass game is good. <laughs> Hers is Not good mine too. so much. I'm working on it. Um, but it's something that we really worked on, especially for this game, was the pocket pass. So the, I think the guards did a really good job, especially in the first half, executing that. Um, and then it's our job once we get the ball to pass it out and not take a bad shot and make sure that we're executing. Is this just one of those games where you just have to overcome this adversity? to be able to get everybody on the same page for later on in the season? Um, this game, I think, is a tough one just because we should have won this game. We lost this game. I mean, credit to Atlanta. They obviously um, – they pulled they pulled away and they saw that we were, you know, struggling a little bit and they took advantage of that. But we can't have quarters like that. I mean, again, the, the fourth quarter we scored ten points. Last game we scored two points in the second quarter. So we can't have that. And a lot of it comes from our defense. We did so well in the beginning, and then we let them penetrate. We let them get second chance rebounds. We did things that is exactly against what we said we were going to do. Um, so we really have to lock in and make sure that we're paying attention and doing what we need to for 40 minutes because, you know, I mean, we're losing games instead of having the other team beat us. So what do you guys have to do now that you're going on the road? It's even harder on the road. The home games are supposed to be the easy ones. So um, we're playing a team that definitely, if they get hot, they get really hot. So we have to make sure that we're locked in on what we're doing and that we're doing it for all four quarters. We can't have lulls like we've had in the past two games. For you, coming out and scoring 10 points in the first you know, three minutes or whatever it was in the second half, does that just kind of showcase, I guess, the potential that you have when, when you're getting it going from the perimeter? Because Cheryl's talked about that it's an adjustment for you in terms of um, – kind of deriving more of your offense from the perimeter rather than down on the block. Um, you said is it an is it, um, adjustment for me? 
well, Cheryl said it was an adjustment for you to kind of drive more of your offense from the perimeter, but is that first part of that third quarter really kind of showcase just the potential you have in that part of your game? Uh, yeah, it's something that I worked really hard on in the off season, so it's something that I want to start implementing more in the game. Um, so I think, you know, in the past my game's really been in the lane and driving and things like that, and I have to be more cognizant and really intentional about taking open threes because it's not my first option. Um, and they're going to be open for me, especially in the beginning, because that's not something that I've shown so far in the league. So I've got to take advantage of that. And then when people start guarding me, I can get to the things that I like more. And then just how much of a luxury is it to have someone like Kayla McBride, who you can just say, Kayla, you'll take Ryan, and, and you see how much Ryan struggled with, with Kayla playing defense tonight? It's great. I mean, Kayla is, uh, I would call her like a pressure release for our team, offensively and defensively. Um, you know, on offense, having someone that can score on the outside is huge for people who want to be on the inside. And then on defense, locking up one of their best players, taking that pressure away from us uh, is huge. So I thought she did a great job on Ryan. Going to the Zoom with Rafik. This is Rafik, good night to both that sports. So, like, I mean, what, I mean, what, what, what is the mindset going to the very next game against the Phoenix Mercury team that's, that's led by Diane Taranzi and Diddy Griner and will be the first of a three-game road trip? I think just locking in on what we need to do. Um, we come in with the same mindset for every game we're supposed to. Like, we're supposed to run our stuff, and then everything will follow after that. So on defense, they, again, have rebounders, just like they had this game, where we're going to have to box out and focus on that. We can't let them in second chance. Um, points. We got to stop their drivers. So I think really learning from this game will be important for us and making sure that we're making those adjustments for uh, Phoenix on Thursday. Appreciate the insight. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you both.